Alright, so before we move ahead, just know, this will only work for MX2004 to Flash CS3. While technically this does work in Flash CS4, it generates a continuous line of errors on the output panel and it's just not worth going for. You'll also need the Adobe Extension Manager, which you should have when you installed Flash, but if you don't for some reason, you could just go to the Adobe website and download it for free. Just make sure you're downloading the right version of the Extension Manager for your software. Now with the Extension Manager up and running, download the small file I've given you. This will give us the desired pixel tools, which we'll use. Go ahead and click on Install New Extension, find and select the Pixel Tools, and reopen Flash when prompted in case you had Flash open at the moment. Now you're not going to see these tools right away. We'll have to add them to your Tools panel. To do this, go to Edit, Customize Tools panel, scroll to the bottom to find your new tools. Feel free to group the Pixel Pencil and Eraser tool where you please. No, there are other tools here, but I find them to be funky in practice, so I ignore these for the most part. I'll quickly group the Pixel Pencil with the regular pencil, and I'll do the same with the eraser. And there we go. The size and color of your pixel tools will correspond to your fill tools. Now despite this being pixel art, remember, we're still working in a vector environment, meaning we get all those shiny bells and whistles of Flash. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about a few tips that will help you. You could edit your grid by going to View, Grid, Edit Grid, notice there's a hockey. I highly recommend spacing your grid in proportion to the pixel size you plan to work in. For example. I want to work with a pixel size of 4, then I'll space my grid by 4s, horizontally and vertically. Working with a different ratio leads to some very odd snapping behavior, so I don't recommend it. For a clean pixel render, export as a PNG. Make sure to turn off smoothing right away. and set your color to 24-bit alpha channel if you wish for alpha transparency. If not, leave it at 24 bits. The background will be filled with the stage color you have selected on your document properties. When you want to resize some pixel art, make sure to always hit nearest neighbor to preserve those hard edges.